yesterday by collecting his 1,000th Major League hit. Right now, the Angels are in second place in the AL West, one game out of first, while the Mariners are fourth in the division, 16 games out. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That should come for two. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch! Ball game! The Indians have won the American League pennant! And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Now live as we count down to the start of game one let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your Chicago Cubs. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Jake Arrieta will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, this guy's been a very good major league pitcher. I love the fact he's always solid. He doesn't complain. He wants the baseball. His career ERA is under three and a half. So I'm looking for him again to have another one of those outings where he's durable and goes after the hitters. Let's take a look at the Cubbies defensively brought to you by Majestic. And down at third base, Chris Bryant, you talk about a tall drink of water. He knocks down everything. He's got the arm strength to play deep. He's got the good hands to catch the ball. But I think it's amazing to be that tall and force him to have to hit the ball over you. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. Fouled straight back. 65 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. He's 
ready with the 2 2 pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. And he puts it on the ground to second. Taken in by Zobrist. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third, the left fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Digging in, Michael Conforto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw Not more walks than other guys is right exactly fielder. what we saw right Jonas there. Pitchers Tessa work Fitter. around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Striding in, Joanna Cespedes. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Two and two count. Here it comes. It swung on and hit in the air. Caesar on the move. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets leave one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs starting lineup. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Noah Sindergaard gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Jarno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. In now is John Jay. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's gone three for 11. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box now. Addison Russell checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Hit sharply on the ground and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Well, that's a nice base hit right there, but it means more than just a nice base hit. The leadoff Got guy didn't get going, but third, now here front. comes the thunder with a man on base. Brian. This is when big innings happen. Standing in, Chris Bryant. Man at first for him following the one-out single. Runner at first here, one man out. And there's ball two now. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Ready with the two and two. 
And another foul ball. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. It wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Another 2-2 offering. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's gone just two for 13. He also has one home run. Runner on first with two away. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm giving my big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. An inning in the books tonight. Still scoreless here on MLB Network. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gloved by Russell. Throw the first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Outstanding range on display that time. And here's the data from Showtrack. I didn't think he was going to get to that one, but he did. And then to complete the play, he made a fantastic throw right on the money. That batter's got to feel like he got robbed on that ball. In now, Wilmer Flores. Grounder down the line at third. Bryant is up with it. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting seven, Patrick Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. His history with Jake Arrieta, an impressive four for seven. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Ready on one and two. A shot down the first baseline. On to the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now batting, Kyle Schwarber. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Hard liner to center field. Ligaris has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the box, Ben Zobrist. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Two gone. Batting seven. Catcher. Wilson Contreras. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Two for nine. One and one. Here it comes. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Three up three down for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score.
Here's Juan Ligares as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Three and one now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And a called strike on the outside corner there. It's full now. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another full count pitch home. Hit on the ground out to short. And safe at first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time, and we'll see how they want to score that. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Now at the plate, Noah Syndergaard. A textbook sack bunt situation here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. Hey, sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes pulled toward right center field. Jay has a read on it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. The batter number 13, second baseman, has dribble Cabrera. Here now is his dribble Cabrera, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the one and one delivery. And he gets ahead with a sinker on the outside. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Schwarber has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Met strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in now, Jake Arietta, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. And he's retired one away. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That right, fastball fielder. just ate him up inside Pass. and Teaser. gets the soft grounder for the out. Into the box now, Matt Caesar, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. 
Ready on one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Digging in to try it again, John Jay. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. A payoff pitch one more time. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. One and two, here it comes. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, that was a good job of spoiling the good pitch right there. Two strike breaking ball right on the corner, and he's able to foul it off. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting, right fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw gets him two down. The third baseman number five David Wright. Striding in once again David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. A sinker over the outside corner for strike 2. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. He spoils another one and will do it again. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He most certainly does. Ten straight he's retired now as that ends the inning. Off of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Addison Russell. A base hit in his first trip. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The next three, two. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try it again, three and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ballgame. 
With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Well, he's been on quite a roll tonight, retired eight hitter. Now, with that base hit right there, that kind of breaks that streak of retired eight in a row. Let's see how he adjusts out of the stretch now. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. He swings and grounds it to short to Cabrera for one on to first, and they get them both. First baseman number 44. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you could definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. Through four, still tied. Nothing, nothing. two pitch on the ground up the middle that's a hit the first of the game for the Mets this guy's such a good hitter I get the feeling even when he's down 0-2 in the Bobby. count like he was here he's still actually Bobby. ahead of the count when he's facing anybody In now, Travis Darno. Slider and he touches 90 with that one. It's one and two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Standing in now, Juan Ligares. In the dirt here, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Full count, here it comes. Runner goes for second. Swing and a miss strike. Oh. And he'll be tagged out at second base. 
trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have his lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Coming to the plate now, Ben Zobrist comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Line drive to center field. Lagaris is there now and he has it two gone. Now batting catcher Wilson Contreras. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs two hits one error for the Cubs to this point. Uh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And now a pitch on the way. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Ready for another chance? Noah Sindergaard. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber giving chase. He's there, but oh, he missed it. Well, sometimes you just have to shake your head on plays like this. Looked like he was there in plenty of time, had a beat on it, but he must have just lost concentration for a split second, and the ball falls. Should have made that play, though. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And he puts it on the ground to second. Zobras has it to second for one. On to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Well, he showed right, right there, White. Right. He's such a tough Second guy to double three. up. He and can fly, double. and he double busted out. it down the line, so they just get the one out. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. The throw 
throw behind the runner at second, and he's back in standing. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Into the box now, Michael Conforto, and this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Pickoff move to second, and the runner will get back standing. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Runners are at first and second with one away. Back up the middle. Russell has it. He'll go to the bag for one. Back to Rizzo, and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six, and we still have no score. Riding in once again, Jake Arrieta. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and one, here it comes. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Right fielder number 20, Matt Caesar. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Caesar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the one and one pitch. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Stepping in now, John Jay. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Reyes will put this one away, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the seventh here in game one. And we still have no score. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look there at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Here's your one Cespedes. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And that misses two and one. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Cespedes is retired, and there's one away. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. One and two, here it comes. Oh, now and Wright gets into one here as he lifts this ball high and deep to left field. This one's into the bleachers and gone. So a solo shot here for David Wright. 
his first homer here in the series and the Mets are on the board first one to nothing. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game but up until this pitch which was a big mistake he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing but he's got to forget about it quickly. In now Wilmer Flores. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, it's obvious now, that earlier home run he gave Patrick. up is still on his mind. Travis he had him Darno. three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. On, Here's the catcher, go. Travis Darno. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hey. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Runners on first with one down. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ladies and gentlemen. Mets get one on the David Wright home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's one nothing Mets. Here's Addison Russell. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. And this is fouled at the plate. Now another one two. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. One out, nobody on. And he takes a called strike two. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. The one and two pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo. And this is fouled back and out of play. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Koji Uehara has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19, Koji Uehara. Ready once again, Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hey. Called strike two. 
Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. So he okay. notched the backwards K on that one. Juan Ligaris goes down Lagares. to become the first out in the eighth inning. Settling in now, Noah Syndergaard. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Is a swing and a high pop up. Russell is under this one, two gone. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one, and there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Now in the box, Jose Reyes. His prior history in this matchup, not great. He's one for eight. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Right side, hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. So the two-out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Well, he rolled over that one. Not the most impressive 13. single, but it's a Second line drive seven. in the books. And dribble Cabrera. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera pulled high in the air out to right field. Caesar is in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the run will score all the way from first. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, that base hit right there gives him two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Two and two now. Two outs here with a runner at third. Little dribbler back at him. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets pick up a run on the RBI triple. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's now 2 0 New York. Digging in once again, Kyle Schwarber. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The second baseman, number 18, and Joe Brad. Digging in the switch hitter, Ben Zobrist. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's now given up, it. along with a couple Catch of hits, it. so his command Wilson. has been pretty solid so far. 
Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Runner at first here one man out. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Conforto is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. A pitcher number 19, Koji Uohara. Tommy Lestella will come on to pinch hit here in a big gun. spot. Number two, Tommy Lestella. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligaris will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for the Cubs. They trail things here two to nothing. You're Justin Grimm enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the Justin bottom of the ninth. Grimm. Now batting, Joanna Cespedes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Wow, that's a high pitch. You know what? The closer that ball gets to your eyes, the better it looks. And guys just hack at it. It's a natural swing. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Curveball, strike three called, and he didn't like it, but there's the first out. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. David Wright will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue. Here it was back in the seventh inning, a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Skied into straightaway right. Caesar on the move. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. First baseman number four. Wilmer Flores. Coming to the plate now. Wilmer Flores. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Here it is on three and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Schwarber going back into the basket and it's gone. A solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead.
They still have the bottom of the ninth to try and stage a comeback. But one thing that's not coming back is this blast to extend the lead to three. Nice knowing you've got some room for air, especially on the road. Into the box, Travis Darno. One and two now. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Last chance coming up here for the Cubs. It's 3-0 New York. Stepping in, Matt Caesar, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Grounder, and this ball hits the first base bag. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Just a great a approach to the play gun. right here. This pitch is on the outer half, and he just gun. goes with it, and he has hey. enough to bounce it over the wall and cruise into second with a ground rule double. Digging in to try it again. John Jay, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. No one out with a runner at second. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, 3 and 2. And he should be okay to go the distance here. He's just now about to hit 100 pitches for the ballgame. Well, what an outing. I mean, 100 pitches are into the ninth inning. I know he hasn't got an out yet, but it really looks good. What a strong outing for him. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Taken there by Cabrera. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. The batter, the touchback, Anderson Russell. Here's Addison Russell, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Here's the 1-1. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they do, in fact, let it land foul. Very smart. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Ground ball up the middle, and it's going to get through in the center field for a base hit. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. Well, that's a big hit. They're running out of time, but they're clearly not going okay, away without a fight. Now you're down two. It gets interesting from here out. AJ Ramos comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. AJ Ramos. In now, Chris Bryant. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. He's set. Here's the three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The three two one more time boy really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes hit the other way out toward right field after it is Cespedes he's not going to have a play on it and this might bring home the runner from first that was a great job of driving that ball extending his arms very well was able to get it over the right fielder's head one hopping it off the wall for an easy double that's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat
And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. That's some pressure pitching right there. Base is loaded. He goes up 3-0. He's now worked it back to 3-2. Now this is really the payoff pitch. Full count. Here it comes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. So he will touch them all on the grand slam. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. And the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! Heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. to three the final score in this afternoon's game the Cubbies jump out to a one nothing series lead so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon thanks to Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew this is Matt Vaskersian and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network see you next time Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Five runs, six hits, two errors, and they left two men on base. For the Mets, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon. 45,936. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one deep left field. That goes up to back near the wall. It's out of here. Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all.